Hello everyone, I am back. And I had a busy day yesterday, got a lot done. Let me show you. So what I did was I went in on the, this is the C8 fender, C8 to C2 Grand Sport fender. And I went in on the back side and reinforced the area right here that I had to create. So if you look at it from the back side, kind of hard to see. Anyway, I uh, fiberglassed it from the back side uh, after I'd already uh, patched it in from the front side. Then after I finished that, I of course ground the edges before I fiberglassed it in. And then I went to the front side, did the same thing, ground the edges and filled it in with uh, fiberglass and then used fiberglass reinforced filler to fill it in. And then I primed it. So today I'm going to sand it and smooth it out a little more. Um, there are a lot of pinholes. I'm not sure why that is, uh, but anyway, uh, just something I have to deal with. Uh, then I made a mold for the uh, fender flare. Uh, these fender flares didn't come out great. Uh, I damaged the mold uh, and damaged the parts. So I decided I would just go ahead and remake them. Plus I never did the lip well because uh, it would have trapped the uh, mold onto the part. And so I decided I would just do a uh, mold that wouldn't be trapped so that I could get that nice uh, inner fitter lip there. So I took this, quickly sanded it just to get rid of the uh, any major uh, things that needed to be repaired. Uh, this is a damaged fender. I didn't worry about it because that front part isn't part of what I need anyway. Uh, I did go ahead and mold the whole thing. I put the silver tape over all the damaged areas. Uh, I figured having a full mold, even if it's not perfect, was uh, better than nothing. So anyway, uh, I sprayed it. Let's see, I put mold release, spray, uh, mold release wax and PVA on top of it. Uh, it needs to say it came out uh, really easily. And speaking of which, oh, and this was where that front fender was attached over here. And this area right here was used to give me the right curve behind it. You can kind of see where uh, the fiberglass uh, bled through when I was doing that. Um, so now I've got to repeat that on the other side. What I'm going to do is make templates off of this. It's going to be a, a bit of a challenge. So let's see. This area right through here, uh, right here, uh, is what I've got to reconstruct that is missing uh, on that fender. You can see right here. There's the hole. I've got to make that area that fits the hole. So I've got to screw this uh, onto where it belongs and then fill that area in. And of course I want it to match on both sides. So I'm going to make templates off of that side and fill in that area. Uh, luckily this area right through here is uh, pretty flat. Uh, let me show you. So what I'll probably do is, since this area is kind of a flat plane uh, right through here, uh, what I will probably do is just make this piece right here uh, as a flat piece and then um, go ahead and make templates for the other pieces. So that'll get that done. Uh, you can see there's still some uh, areas that didn't get uh, completely filled and I had some kind of crazing right here, but uh, there's gray primer underneath this and then I use the black We've talked about before as a guide coat, but you can see some of the uh, pinholes uh, Which using the gel coat I would have thought I would not have gotten pinholes, but uh, I did All right So my goal with these uh, molds, uh, this is the mold that I made off of that blue fender. Um, I used 
tooling gel coat, which is the orange or red stuff. I ran out of it. So I made sure I got the area that I really care about covered with the tooling gel coat. And then rather than leave the other part, just raw fiberglass, uh, I decided I would go ahead and use just the plain gel coat. Obviously not ideal, but uh, it was the best solution I could come up with. My tooling gel coat won't be in until tomorrow, and I just, I need these parts. So my process is, I start off with the uh, fiber lease. Uh, it is a water-based uh, one-step release agent, supposed to be five minutes from application to film. Literally, you, you spray it on, or I use wipe it on with a rag. I spray it on out of the sprayer there, and then uh, wipe it on, smooth it out with a, a towel. And I put three coats on there, even though it says you only need one. Uh, that's how I damaged that mold, was I tried using that with just one. Now, the other mold, I did sand on it to smooth it out and polish it, but everywhere I sanded is where it stuck. So on this one, I didn't sand anything. There's some minor defects that I could fix, but I decided, you know what? I'm not going to take the chance. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do it as it is. Anyway, after I put that on there, then I put on mold release. Now this is redundant. It shouldn't be needed with the uh, one step, but again, I got burned. So I'm not taking any chances. I can't afford to damage this mold and the part that comes out of it. And then finally, I sprayed it with the Partol uh, PVA. Uh, it's a plastic film uh, that forms. Um, so my goal is to ideally, eventually only use the uh, spray. But in order to do that, the surface has to be conditioned. So that's why I put this on first, hoping that over time it will condition the surface. And then this is a backup in case there was any spots that were missed, because like I said last time, that by itself did not work well. And then the part all is just a, you know what? It can't hurt. So what I don't like about the part all is it's very hard to get a nice, perfect surface. You can get a pretty good surface, but it's hard to get a perfect surface. Uh, but again, I, <laughs> a nice but not perfect surface is better than a damaged part or damaged mold or both. All right, the PVA is very easily damaged. Uh, so there were a couple of spots where uh, somehow it, it something happened. So what I did was I literally took uh, some of the mold release wax and dabbed it on there. If you rub it on, you can actually end up rubbing off uh, the PVA. So there are two coats of PVA on here. Uh, so I did the mold release three times, uh, the liquid, I did the wax, I believe twice, and then the PVA I did twice. So today my plan is to uh, get some of the tooling gel coat, put it on here, and actually make uh, this fender flare. Probably just the orange part, but I'm debating whether just to go do the whole thing. Uh, this is where that damage area is. Uh, so I went ahead and just quickly uh, put uh, gel coat and um, fiberglass on there. I used that silver tape. You can see the tape marks there. Uh, this is not sturdy. It's not good, but again, I figured it's better than nothing. You can see that it's thin. Uh, I wrapped it around here. I wanted to make sure that it was flexible enough that I could remove it. It came off relatively easy. Uh, but this area right here, you can see that there's nothing behind the gel coat. So I'll have to come back in and fix this. But uh, you can see that there's a step right there. Uh, so I, I had it lined up. And then somehow in moving it around, it got jostled. Uh, again, it's fixable. Uh, I just need to make this. Uh, this area right here, I never could get to lay flat with fiberglass for some reason. I have no earthly idea why, but every time I'd push it down, it kept coming back up. Again, it can be fixed. All right, I think that's it. Uh, it's getting hot already. It's uh, early in the morning and it's already 80 degrees with the sun out, uh, so I need to get going. Uh, so again, I will go ahead and first priority is to uh, get this uh, fender flare made. Um, sanding on that 
and getting it smooth is maybe the second priority. I can't decide between that and uh, progressing on the C2 uh, front end. I've got this part of it fixed uh, and sanded. So um, gotta decide what to do next on this. But there's a lot of spots on here, I've shown it before, that still need to be uh, fixed. They're not in good shape. So anyway, I'm going to work my way around this piece by piece. And initially I'm going to put on the uh, uh, fiber re, uh, fiberglass reinforced filler on any of the damaged areas so it'll hold up and then uh, do the body work. All right, that's all I've got. So go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the alert, hit the thanks if you want to donate. And if you don't like what I'm doing, you don't know Jack. Bye.